All right. <clears throat> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Once again, this is L.R.L. Dunlap Jr. coming up to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, written word of God. God bless you. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. <clears throat> Let's go here. Go to the go to the 20. <laughs> Go to Exodus 20. Exodus 20. And 8. Exodus 20 and 8. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days shalt thy labor and do all thy work. But on the seventh day is a Sabbath unto the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do no, thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, thy maidservant, nor thy cow, nor the stranger that is within the gates. Within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Keep your Bible open. Keep your Bible open. Jesus said. Go to Exodus 23 and 12. Exodus 23 and 12. Six days thou shalt do thy work. Six days. And on the seventh day thou shalt rest. That, that, for why are you going to rest? Why? 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 Why the Sabbath? Why are you going to rest? Six days thou shalt do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest. For what purpose? That thine ox and thine ass may rest, and the son of thy handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. That is the purpose of the Sabbath, so you can get some rest. Now, let me mess up. Let me mess, let me mess up right good with the word of God. Get your Bible to go to St. Mark. We get ready to show you. <laughs> what we just read? So you can get some rest. And what the Sabbath for? So you can get some rest and be refreshed. If you don't rest, you're gonna fall out. If you don't get no rest, you're gonna fall out. <laughs> You're going to be stressed out. You're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> it was so you can get some rest. Now we're going to show you. Go to St. Mark, the second chapter. We're getting ready to show you. Listen to me good. I'm going to read to you. Saddle was for you to get rest. But if you don't rest, And if you do work, it's not a sin because man was not made to keep the Sabbath. Man was not made to keep the Sabbath. Man was not made to keep the Sabbath. Keep the Sabbath. Let's make it more plain. The Sabbath was not, in other words, man was not made to keep the commandment of the Sabbath. Man was made for that. Man was made to be holy, but man was not made to keep the Sabbath. Read with us. Jesus said that. I dare you to call him a lie. You was not supposed to work. Nobody in your house. 
Nobody in your house supposed to win. You don't supposed to go to McDonald's. You don't supposed to go to the grocery store. You don't supposed to wash no clothes. You don't supposed to cut no hair. Everything's supposed to rest. You know that Cadillac you drive? It's supposed to rest. Am I right? <laughs> we can't keep the Sabbath when Christ kept the Sabbath for us, then we might be able to walk in grace and truth and no longer walk in the covenant of our. Well, it cuts off right there, but yeah, that's true. Let you Sabbath day, you Sabbath day keep them, and it comes up. And I, I have friends. I got, I got, I, I got put off the Church of God in Christ website. I believe for that purpose because the one that put up the site, I'm going to call his name. He come teaching, uh, you got to keep the Sabbath and all that. So I took the word of God and I proved him wrong. And he had bought me, you know, and want me to call, you know, and want me to go to a website. Why? I didn't give you the Bible. When I gave you the Bible, you don't need to go nowhere else. That's the problem. I have friends. Well, it's the fourth commandment. You weren't made to keep it. Uh-oh. What? What? You, man was not made to keep no Sabbath. Uh-oh. I lost out of done it now. I'm not saying this. Jesus is saying this. Go to Mark 2. And see, people, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When it come to every subject matter, you must say what the scripture said. I don't care if it goes against what you've been taught. You must say what the scripture said. You must say what Jesus said. You got to do it. Go to Mark 2. Watch this. 223. Look at Jesus breaking the Sabbath. Mark 2.23. Read. To, to, let's see. Tomorrow's Sabbath. Sabbath uh, tonight is 6 o'clock Sabbath day. Which one is it? <laughs> Matthew 2.23. And, <clears throat> and it came to pass that he went through, Jesus went through the cornfield on the Sabbath day. He broke the Sabbath. He broke it. He broke it. He broke it. Jesus broke the law of the Sabbath. Jesus broke the law of the Sabbath. Jesus broke it. Now, what you got to say about him? How come you don't tell Jesus, Jesus, you broke keep the Sabbath? I dare you tell Jesus that. How come you don't tell Jesus that? And it came to pass that he went through the cornfield on the Sabbath day. He, he didn't rest. He went through the cornfield. He did not rest. He broke Exodus 20. He broke the Sabbath. He broke the law of the Sabbath. Jesus did. And it came to pass he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day and his disciples began and as they went and plucked the ears of corn. And the Pharisee. Alright Pharisee. Alright Pharisee. And the Pharisee said unto him. Behold. Why do they. On the Sabbath day. That which is not lawful. Or that which is against the commandment. Why are you doing that? Let's look at your response. And you got to say what Jesus said. You 
on every subject, you got to say what Jesus said. I don't care what's been taught. And Jesus said unto him, now I know some say, well, that's Jesus. Jesus do what he want to do. Let go further and show you. He going to bring up David. David wants Jesus. Have ye never read what David did? <laughs> when he had need and was and hunger, he and they that were with him, how he went into the house of God in the days of Abiathar the high priest and did eat showbread which was not lawful. David broke the law. Y'all said, well, that's Jesus. Jesus do what he wants. No, Jesus brought up David. David broke the law. Not lawful to eat, but for the priest, he gave also to them that were with him. Uh-huh. 27. And here is what you got to say. You got to say what the Bible said. You got to say what Jesus said. Twenty-seven. What did Jesus say? And what Jesus said, you got to say the same thing. And Jesus said unto them, "The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath." What that mean? What that mean? Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That mean Sabbath was made for man benefit, for man to rest. Man was not made to keep no Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man, therefore the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. And if Jesus broke it and broke the rule, I can break the rules of the Sabbath. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, and let me get let me give you the word of knowledge that came to me, that came to me this morning. Let me give you the word of knowledge. What do the Sabbath was made for man, but not man for the Sabbath? Man was not made to keep the Sabbath day. Watch this. Sabbath was made for man, not man for Sabbath. Let's get a couple of more examples to further prove that. And this is the word of knowledge. Go to 1 Corinthians 6 and 13. Let's make it plain. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 6 13. Now keep that in mind. Man. Sabbath was made for man. Man wasn't made for no Sabbath. Corinthians 6 and 13. Here's word of knowledge now. Here's word of knowledge. Corinthians 6 13. Let's be in with 12. Let me get with 12. <laughs> All things are lawful for me, but all things are not speaking. All things are lawful for me, but I, but I would not be brought on the power in. Meat for the belly, belly for the meat. Meat for the belly, belly for the meat. Your belly was made for meat. Meat was made to go in your belly. Go to <laughs> Go to Corinthians the eleventh chapter. Go to Corinthians the eleventh chapter. Oh, this is gonna bless your heart real good and open your eyes up the blind. Remember, man was not made for Sally. Corinthians eleven and nine. 
I'm, I'm showing you a comparison. <coughs> Let's begin with 11.4. I God we want to give you good understanding. Every man praying and prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. But every woman that pray or prophesy with her head uncovered, dishonors her head. For that is even, for that is even all one as if she was shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shown. Cut your hair off. Before y'all get started, I, I, I know about head covering and all that. I'm just making a point. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shown a shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much he is the image and the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. For a man is not made, for a man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Man wasn't created for the woman, the woman was created for the man. I wonder if you see that. Remember, man was not made for Sabbath. But Sabbath for the man. Sabbath was for man benefit to get some rest. The woman for the man benefit to help the man. Man wasn't created for the woman benefit. So, oh, uh, so the man ain't got to cover his head, but the woman got to cover cover hers. I, now I'm not I'm not discussing head covering. I'm trying to show you the comparison of man not made for Sabbath. Man wasn't made to keep no Sabbath. Man wasn't made for no woman. Woman was made for man, for man benefit. Sabbath was for man benefit. You understand. <laughs> You understand, and, 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 and if, if you narrow minded, that that want to that want to not jump over for head covering. If you read on down, it say we have no custom or the church of God. So, but I want to discuss the head covering. I was trying to show you a comparison. You got to say what Jesus say. Sabbath. Was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Man was made to keep no Sabbath. In the let 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 take a let take a deeper look. Let's take a deep. Let's go deeper. <laughs> In the Old Testament, it say if you be waking on the Sabbath and all that, you gonna be put away. You'll be put to death. Why was that? Because they, they didn't do the first thing. Because they did not do all their work in six days as commanded. You had no excuse back then to work on those Sabbath days or pluck sticks or what have you. You had no excuse. You were supposed to do all your work six days. But you disobeyed that. No. Huh? Jesus said man was not made for no Sabbath, meaning man was not made to keep no Sabbath. He wasn't. Sabbath was just about rest. And if you want to go deeper, you supposed to remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day, yes, it was about the covenant, but before then, you remember how when you was in Egypt. 
God brought you out of Egypt. Jesus said man wasn't made for no Sabbath. Meaning man ain't got to keep no Sabbath. Now, I dare any of you to call Jesus a lie. Any of you call Jesus a lie. I dare any of you to judge me for not keeping the Sabbath. Oh, we got scripture. We got scripture in Colossians. They're the cuts of they're the cuts of head off. I dare you to. Are you judging people because they don't keep the Sabbath? Are you judging people? The word of God is against you. <laughs> do I need to go there while I'm on here? What do I want? Colossians? <laughs> Colossians 2.16 Let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink or respect or holy day or new moon or Sabbath day. You judging people because they don't keep the Sabbath? You tell people they wrong because they don't keep the Sabbath? The word of God is against you. The word of God is against you. You got to say what the word said. You got to say what the word said. You want to keep the Sabbath? That's your business. That's you. But you better not judge nobody else and say, you should be keeping the Sabbath. No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. And that was coming in anyway. That was the covenant anyway. Now, who fulfilled the covenant? Jesus Christ. Jesus is here now. The Lord. He said in Mark, go back to Mark, the Lord of the Sabbath is here. And if the Lord of the Sabbath can work, I can work and you can work. Come on. I dare you to call the scripture a lie. And I dare you, you better not judge nobody and say they wrong for not keeping the Sabbath. The word of God is against you. Yes, have your opinion, but you got to say the word of God is right. If you don't say the word of God is right, you're going to be lost. That's enough of that. All right. Question answer. All right. All right. Oh. Feel free to give your comments. Feel free to come back. I welcome it. But have scripture for what you're saying. Have scripture for what you're saying. Okay, whoever that is that say they tuned in late, and we, 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 you know, hey, I feel you'll be saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go back and rewind or go on our page. You'll see it. All right. You understand. You understand, yeah. Uh, all right. All right, seven dead villain. The word of God is against you. You won't keep the Sabbath. That's your business. The word of God is against you. If you judge anybody and tell anybody they wrong for not keeping the Sabbath, the word of God is against you, I said. And you got to say what Jesus said. If you don't say what Jesus said, you ain't saved. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know it hurts him. <laughs> I know it hurts your pride. Mm-hmm. Nothing in your house supposed to work. You don't supposed to go to the grocery store sad. Oh, uh, tomorrow's Sabbath day. You don't supposed to go to the grocery store. You don't supposed to go to the grocery store. Everything's supposed to rest. None of your children supposed your children don't supposed to clean up their room. Clean up your room. No, 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 no. Wash them dishes. No, 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 no. Go wash the clothes. No, no, no. All that's supposed to be done six days. Uh, all right, you understand. God bless you. God keep you in my prayer. As I said, I dare any of you 
Okay, I'm freezing up on YouTube. <clears throat> I dare any of you, I say I dare any of you, to call the word of God a lie. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Now you understand. Yeah. And if you judge anybody for not keeping the Sabbath or giving respect to the Sabbath, if you judge anybody, the word of God is against you, you Pharisee. And it was the covenant. All of that would point to Jesus Christ. All right. Now, I, 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 I want your input. You want to disagree. You want to come back. You want to come back with something. Come back with scripture. Come back with scripture. Jesus said, man was not made for no Sabbath. Man wasn't made for no Sabbath. Sabbath was made for man, and it was to get you some rest. All right, that's enough of that. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. God bless you.